My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider-Man. An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl, destroying iconic attractions and history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been taken from me. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness, the hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, AKA Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure Old Glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. And Parker does it all with a home run butt. Never in all my years have I seen one man accomplish so much by doing so little. What a season. What a season. That should work for Robbie. I heard this guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. Hunter's getting resupplied. I don't recognize the name on the manifest. Raven's outfit in Brussels. Huh. I've never met her, but I've heard. She used to be a hunter. Lost her leg in a kill box mess in Travagrad. But she didn't want to get out of the game, so she moved into supplies. Damn good ones from the looks of everything. She hunts through us now.
I had time to help, but I'm needed somewhere else. Doing a stakeout? Not in my neighborhood. The spider! Uh -huh. Cloaking tech kind of let you down today, yeah, fellas? do your ambushes in the streets, like normal criminals. Twisted for putting Marco's kid in the middle of all this. Gotta look for more crystals to find out what happened. Marco's memory is returning and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It, it sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more. York, 
We like our roads safe. It. Especially these. And today's lesson is never send a robot to do a hunter's job. Though I beat them too. Okay. Let's see what... turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. Whoops, gotta turn around. How can such tiny turbines create so much energy? Now to deploy! Fly free, little turbine! Kabam! One more! I'll just head back. The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. Gotta get up there. Talon drones attacking the turbine. I gotta stop them. 
back in place. There. All up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. from Brooklyn are to be believed. These Spider-Men have grown more powerful than we feared. Magic portals, subway cars disappearing off the tracks, fire engines flying through the night sky, and the newer Spider-Man at the center. Webbing and property damage weren't enough. Now we add mystical arts into the mix. Does their desire for destruction know no bounds? I almost feel sorry for this lost soul. Groomed for a life of criminality and degradation. Speaking of it, it seems Spider-Man was cohorting with notorious thief, the Black Cat. Their costumes must be cut from the same corrupt cloth. If their entanglement doesn't paint a clear enough picture of Spider-Man's intent, then here's a little story for you. The Spider-Men show up, and the group we now know as the Hunters follow. Clearer now? These Spider-Men are magnets for malefactors. Now, the Black Cat seems to have vanished. Good riddance! If magic is indeed real, then we must hope upon hope that someone out there is using it for good and will erase the stain in our city known as the Spider-Men. May we go one day without another spider incident. started building it in 1901, finished in 1909. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now it's just amazing the history that's in this city. Take out a roof. Why has not the door been reset by now? Should it be ten Over seconds? Oh. Gotta be honest. Not loving the hidden ambush spot. I'm actually not a fan of VTOLs. Mind if I get rid of it? Nice to know even hunters have trouble with their tech. says Unk hit a stash here. Huh. 
Get in the hang of this thing. I think I can pull that steam pipe up. out my stash at the old radio station. I was wondering where I was. That station was the hottest ticket in Brooklyn for up-and-coming hip-hop artists back in the day. You and Pops get any airtime? We got close. But they bumped us last minute for this next level group out of Staten Island. I still got your beats if you want them. <laughs> NYC ain't ready for a prowler spotty mixtape. Take it easy, kid. Hope Unk starts making music again. It'll be a good distraction for him.
Let's talk about Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders is many injuries, but no fatalities. Small blessings. But we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? Who was the man who helped Spider-Man? I've gotta be honest, folks. This is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. Here's hoping that with two Spider-Men in town, we can steer away from war citywide chaos. Anyone who tells you these things happen for a reason should be cursed with wet socks. Gotta remember doggy treats next time. Did y'all not see what I just did? always keep me on my toes. There's a prowler stash nearby. There it is. I might have to move that somewhere else. I've plenty of these before. Don't mind if I do.
another one down. You should not have come here. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. If you're gonna ambush, be sneaky, all right? <laughs> Right. Hunters did come after his tech. Everything good, kid? Got a few unauthorized access attempts for my stash in the shipping yard. Ran into Craven's hunters. You were right about them wanting your tech. They must be real good if they found it. Even your dad wasn't able to. Dad? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and the Prowler. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose him. Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. Never wanted him to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Stay safe, Unc. Same, man. Will do. You heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> Now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People, do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I could think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. Uncle Aaron's got a stash here. Better find it. Hell yeah. Circuit box? I guess I'm zapping my way in. I didn't open the door, but it activated that first switch. Must be more circuit boxes nearby that activate the rest of them. <laughs> There's a box. Uncle Aaron must have set these on a timer. I'm gonna have to spark each box before it runs out.
another one. all of them. Should have access to the stash now. I used to run out of quarters so fast. But Jay would always spot me some of his. I'd give anything to go back to that arcade with my big brother. One more time. I miss him. Me too, Unc. Wish Dad and Uncle Aaron could have made things right before he... Yeah. This is the second time I've had to come out.
hunters in the road. on this rooftop than I thought. I heard you challenged Craven once. Is that actually true? A few years ago. Stupid. I didn't understand what he was trying to mold us into. He struck me down in terms of pop. <laughs> Sleepy time. Wake up, you! <laughs>
don't see him! What were they guarding? Come here, Birdie. Tell me a story. A map of a base. Any chance you can show me what's waiting for me there? If I disable that relay, they won't be able to call for backup. Nice. So you've been to two other blinds around Harlem, huh? Better scope out the other blinds. Maybe they'll lead me to a base. Here. We have a blind. Could be nothing. They've been having a lot of interference from the surrounding buildings. No. The spiders are finally moving in on the buildings. They'll be here soon. Sweet dreams. Found the spider! You're done, hunters! peek inside. What else is at this base? A couple of webs should do the trick. I still need the base location. One more blind to go. Boom. That 
the last blind. Gotta get in there and... My Harlem? Hunter's about to find out there's a new Shogun in town. Oh! That's the abandoned school that my mom keeps trying to get repaired. That's their base? Someone has to let them know school's out of session. For good.